all you prospectors out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Icarus. I am currently working on the agricultural supply stockpile. I'm playing it on the medium setting. That's what I pretty much play everything on. Uh, this is a, a long uh, mission, uh, per se. You have like 15 days to do it. You don't need that long. But I have, uh, I'm playing it a little bit differently than what you might expect. Uh, I'm, uh, I've already kind of got stuff established down there. So let me get down there and I will show you what uh, I am doing on this. And once I get down to the surface, I'll catch back up with you. Okay, I am back down on the surface here and so you can see I'm at the uh, location marked on the map and uh, I am on the one that uh, requires uh, the meat the cooked meat the fur and the leather so it's the hunting uh, shipment and so far I've gotten this is what I've gotten in there so far so, uh, but here's what I have done. I have created a little bit of an outpost here, uh, since I'm down here by the capsule. And I have uh, a couple of more along the way. So if I pull up the map, uh, let me see here. I put uh, a stone building right here on K14. I have one right over here uh, in uh, I-13, which is just right, there's a, uh, there was a cave right there, and then I put one, uh, I'm going to have to remember, I, I started out right here, there was a cave right here, and I think, I can't remember. Uh, I actually, you know what, there was another cave down here, I believe, and I built a, uh, another uh, stone building there. Now, the idea of having those stone buildings is to shelter, you know, if there's a storm coming. Uh, I have the ability to hop in here. And the other thing is to sleep overnight so I don't like getting stuck out in the middle of the night and it's dark and difficult to see so I like to play in the, the daylight and so what I am doing is working on this shipment and one of the tricks that I've learned is say I'm picking berries although berries is there's there's plenty of berries everywhere so that one's not going to be difficult to get but here's what you can do uh, I've got both pods down on the surface and so as I'm working in this area which there seems to be an awful lot of fruit I can uh, pull in and let's just uh, split 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 there we go and I could put these like in here and they won't deteriorate so they will keep so I could go around here gathering up uh, pumpkins let me see let's get up onto a dark surface here I can go around gathering up carrots and pumpkins and watermelons and store them in here and before I send this capsule back up I can pull them out and run them down to the other uh, capsule and finish out my shipment. And it seems to work pretty well. So with that, I am going to actually uh, do some more hunting up here. It's almost uh, 1500. So I'll probably do some hunting up here and then run down in the morning. So again, this is a fairly long uh, mission so I'll give you updates along the way as I am getting some of this stuff done 
And, uh, yeah, so I'll catch back up with you with the next update. Actually, what I'll do is I'll catch up with you when I'm ready to head out in the morning back down to the uh, other capsule. So, be back in a little bit. Okay, it is 7 a.m. in the morning here. And let me grab... I did get a few things. So, one of the uh, things that will preserve or you can kind of keep things in here and it will halt. So now if I grab these, the nice thing with that being stacked is uh, only the top one spoils and then it, the next one, then the next one, then the next one. So what I'm going to do is kind of start making my way back towards my first, uh, well, my uh, first uh, stone building along the way. And then uh, once I get get down to there, I'll catch back up with you. I don't I don't think you want to watch me kind of just running through through the woods back and forth, back and forth. And but what I do do along the way is I will pick stuff as I'm heading back in this direction. So as I'm finding stuff, uh, if I'm running across carrots and pumpkins and uh, all sorts of stuff like that, then I can pick it as I'm moving back and forth. So, once I uh, get uh, get to my first stone building, or I start getting close to it, I'll uh, catch back up with you. Okay, I'm just about to where my shelter is, and this is why I've kind of put shelters up along the way. We've got a storm that's come in. So what I am trying to do, I've been picking along the way, and so right now I am almost to my shelter. Uh, you can see it. It's just right up here a little bit farther. And I need to eat some berries. Uh, so, all right, this will help my stamina a little bit better. But right up here on the point, so once I get uh, get up there, obviously one of the nice things about uh, going back and forth is you come across the pumpkins and whatnot that you need. So we should be just about to it. There it is. I can see it up there. And so that's the purpose of having these out here. Now, yeah, you can... You can crawl in under a rock or you can try to hit caves and stuff like that but I'm trying to change it up a little bit just make it a little more interesting you do the same you, you do things over and over and over and so just I started out and I made these uh, stone huts and so that they will be here uh, along the way so that uh, I get in out of the weather and uh, you know, reduce the storm exposure. Also, uh, as I mentioned, I carry my campfire, or I can make one. And uh, I have uh, beds placed out here so that I can uh, spend the night. So depending on where I'm at, if I get caught in a storm and it's uh, daylight is waning, then I can just spend the night there. And so, once this storm kind of lets up a little bit, it's just a little bit of a respite, and uh, uh, once I see the sun pop in on the, uh, up in the upper uh, right-hand corner, like there it is, uh, I'll probably start heading out here pretty quick. So, this is, so this was my first one. Well, my first one was back at the uh, pod, at the hunting pod. So this one is here. Now my second one, and we should be fine to start moving forward to just try to s save time so we're not just sitting around. 
and hopefully we can find some more stuff. Now I'm not too worried about bears. I've kind of I've done this mission enough that this seems like a fairly safe. Can I get it? Ah, uh, that's a carrot. Ah, not gonna. There should be some others around here, though. Maybe let's see if we can see some others. We do have some pumpkins. So anyway, so now the storm's starting to subside and we're fine. So uh, I just use them along the way for uh, a respite. All right. Uh, once I get up to my next one, I should actually I should show you on the map. So K uh, K14 right there is where I uh, have that that one. So the next one is over here in I13. And I will uh, catch back up with you when I get over there. Okay, I should be getting close to my next shelter. Yeah, there it is. I see it up there. Uh, let me pick these carrots as I'm going by them. Because I'll never be able to find them again. <coughs> so that's one thing about going back and forth. You, you actually find a lot of these... Uh, uh, vegetables and whatnot that you need you might just stumble across them and so that's that's how I do it uh, just picking along the way now this is one that uh, I had in front of a cave so I could get the resources to build it but again nothing fancy I got a camp campfire here and you see inside it's just uh, a bed and the building, and that's about it. Uh, actually, and then I need to run over to the capsule over here, see if we find some stuff along the way. Uh, I don't worry about hunting when I'm heading in the direction of picking up the vegetables, you know, the berries and whatnot. Uh, it's just no reason to do that. But on my way back, now I will hunt on my way back as I am picking, heading heading back to pick up uh, more meat to, to get it back. Uh, although I was noticing when I was hunting down there around the capsule... Uh, it seemed to be a lot more predators, and the meat seemed to, there seemed to be a lot more meat. Just so it really wasn't a, a problem in, in filling that out. Uh, so I might not have to go back and forth nearly as much as I have in other, uh, other missions and whatnot. Uh, oh, I better eat something. Check my inventory here. Uh, let's uh, eat one of these. One of these and one of those. All right. Uh, the reason I'm heading over to... Where are we at? Uh, this way? Yeah. The reason I'm heading over here... And it should just be right... There it is. Oh, let's grab these pumpkins while we're at it. Uh, I have a broken tool that uh, needs to go back to the space station. And so it's just a way of uh, making sure I don't forget it and leave it down here on, uh, on the planet. And then I have to buy a new one. Uh... All right. Let's uh, get this in here. I noticed, one of the things I've noticed is that it really stutters. And, and I've seen people comment on it uh, about the stuttering. I notice it mostly, if we look at the map real close here, when I cross these lines, when I cross section lines. 
So we just crossed this line right here, and you notice you probably saw it starting to stutter a little bit. So uh, I wish they would optimize that. I hope they, they actually get that uh, optimized and handle that a little bit better, because it does get to be a little bit uh, disconcerting. So we're heading to my next uh, shack, and we're going to be starting to get close. Now, this end, down by the vegetable lot, uh, where, or that uh, where we got to put all the carrots and watermelons and whatnot, that area is a bit more dangerous. There's bears down in that area. The rest of it is mostly from, from kind of here on towards the uh, hunting capsule. There isn't any bears. Uh, it's all just wolves. And I've built this character up just like my other one. I've been building it up for melee because it just takes too much I uh, for tech up to, to try to use guns and it just takes way too much in the way of materials. So I've bow, bows and knives is what I use. All right, we should be getting close. Uh, let's see. Should be right up here around the corner. There it is. Again, I actually carry a bedroll with me, and I, sh I should have left one here. Yeah, actually, this is, uh, I don't have this one set up for spawning here. So, but this is, uh, this was the first one I had uh, set up, and I mined, and so I've got uh, my, uh, textiles in here. Actually, let's do this while I am thinking about it. And I am here. Uh, get the knife out. I need to hop in here. That's the way I deal with those. All right. Now, the other thing I do is I go out and reset my Humidity. Uh, let's see if I can. Oh. Oh, I. Oh, you know what? Oh. Uh, well, I'm going to try it once. Let's see what happens here. This is a pain because they've done the new. So I am going to have to take this off if I want to repair these. And I don't know if I've got. And so then I can repair it. All right. Well, we're not going to mess with all of them. All right. Let's turn that off. Let's put this back on. That's a pain. That is literally a pain. Can't repair them. You got to take them all off and repair each one and then uh, start over. Okay. All right. Well, once I get up to my next destination close to the lake I'll catch up with you unless something happens along the way here because like I said this is bear country so I got to pay attention out through here so I'll catch back up with you in a little bit okay I am just about down to the lake I haven't run into the bears there was a wolf right there uh, once I'm down by the lake, I feel fairly safe if a bear should uh, come and get me. Now, you notice some stuttering there. That particular spot is where I always get quite a bit of stuttering because we're crossing some lines in through there, section lines. I hear the bear. Where is he? 
I hear him. All right, we need to keep our eyes out for him. Grab these. I know one thing, the uh, bison, the buffalo, they sound similar to the bear, but they've got a little bit of uniqueness to them. I guess I didn't put in a shelter down here. I guess my only shelter is back... back at that last one where I first started. So what we're going to do is we're going to get over here, make these deliveries. And all right, let's get these watermelons in. Pumpkins. Doesn't matter what condition they're in, as long as they are still there. Carrots, uh, what else do I got? Uh, berries. Let's consume some and split those and put, put those in. And, all right, that's everything. Okay, so let's see if we can see uh, so we got uh, 36 carrots, 38 pumpkins, and 27 watermelons, and 147 berries. We're almost halfway on the berries. Berries are the easiest. I knew that those would be. All right. And, uh, you know what? Let me, let's go ahead and pick these. Might as well get these picked. And uh, we'll put those in there. And then I got to start uh, heading back. Carrots, watermelon, and we'll just go ahead and split the berries of those in there. All right, let me consume some food here. And that sounds like buff. All right. I am going to start making my way back. I'll catch back up with you when I get to that, uh, my, uh, first, my sleeping spot for the night. Okay. I got the bear right over there and I'm going to, you can kind of see him coming down through this way. I'm going to head up through this way. Yeah, he should still be heading down that direction, so he's down there, so we can beat feed it up this way. Anyway, I thought you would be interested in seeing seeing how to get around that bear. Get down to the cabin. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, we should get to the cabin just about right. Now, I did see some vegetables, some carrots, and whatnot back up there where we just kind of went through. But, like I said, I wasn't going to worry about that. And we're going to get down here. Uh, we'll get camp set up and spend the night here and head out in the morning. So, let's see here. Do I have fuel in here? I do have a little bit. All right, I tell you what, once I'm ready to start heading out in the morning, I will uh, catch back up with you all. I've got a little bit of time, so I'm probably going to do a little bit of hunting. I'll get uh, uh, get that stuff into the fire here, and uh, so we'll start getting some stuff to take back to the other capsule. I'll see you in the morning. All right, it is morning and time to start making my way back up. Uh, fairly uneventful. We had a storm that came through and I've gotten a little bit of bit of meat. So we will start doing some hunting on the way back. And I am going to uh, just start kind of heading out this direction kind of looking for wolves. I'm not going to mess with anything other than wolves. Because they give you the kind of the most fur and mainly because you get the most XP out of them. So it really can help build up your uh, XP. Now one thing I have learned uh, I don't use my blueprints until I need something. I've kind of pretty much got everything that I want. Now, I do have a couple of talent points, or a talent point I do need to use. And so, it uh, I should use it, and I will take some time the next time I'm uh, at, uh, at my next shelter or wherever, and I will... Go ahead and use that talent point because those you can those will pay dividends for you whether you're reducing your carry weight or what have you but uh yeah those can those can help a lot so right now i think on my way back i will be coming by the capsule there and picking up those pumpkins and whatnot but right now it's a matter of just kind of getting back up to the next, uh, back to the hunting capsule. And let's see if we can't get it filled up. So I will catch back up with you once I am up at the capsule. And unless something interesting along the way happens, I'm not expecting anything at this point because we're out of bear country. So it should be pretty, uh, pretty routine maybe killing some wolves along the way. So I'll see you when I get back up there. Well, I've made it back to the hunting capsule and uh, the hunting shipment. Uh, I managed to get some meat along the way. Uh, so I got it cooking. I made a... Uh, another fire ring so if I do get a glut of meat I can have multiple fire rings going to cook it yeah I could have gone and uh, made a big cooking stove and all of that if I wanted to but this works just fine too so uh, without going too much out of the way uh, and if I should need if my knife wears out on me uh, I have another cave right over here that I can get iron out of. I did bring my smelter and my uh, uh, anvil and everything with me, so I would be able to fashion another iron knife, which is pretty good. So, uh, But why don't we 
take out this goat over here and get started hunting uh, before the next storm comes along. And let's see what we got. Oh yeah, some meat, some fur, some leather. We need all of that for the hunting shipment. Uh, see anything else around? No, no. All right. Well, you know what? I, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick these pumpkins, and I will throw those into the ship over there so that we can preserve them as we have them. See if there's anything else to grab. Oh, actually, yeah, carrots. Let's grab these carrots. This is a much safer area to be out and about picking these vegetables. So let's uh, get back over here. As you can see, a flash storm came through and set everything on fire. Oh boy. Well, it, one thing it does do though, it helps considerably because that's kind of a, a run right up through there. A lot of times animals will come up through there. Matter of fact, I see a wolf over there. Let's go get it. And just like that, we've got him. Let's grab that meat. And we'll get it over onto the fire, get it going. I saw something up here out of the corner of my eye that we can pick. Uh, where'd it go? I saw it in here. There it is. It was water. Uh, watermelon. Yep. Okay, well, as I have an update, I will uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, I thought I would give you an update on where I am at at the moment. Uh, I have managed to do quite a bit of harvesting. Uh, let's get up here. I have another 20 meats being cooked. So uh, right now I have uh, quite a few meats in there. I think we'll be close to 150 or something like that. I actually have enough leather yeah so I just completed the leather that's 1200 and then I've got 466 fur in there let's uh, see I have some fur to add so there's 476 so the fur is not quite as uh, prevalent for me as the leather I think I have some upgrades on the leather so uh, I still have lots of leather, so I'm going to be dropping a lot of that. Uh, matter of fact, we can drop that one there. Uh, and then as far as I've been collecting quite a bit of fruits. So I've got 26 watermelon here. I've got uh, 41 pumpkins and 44 uh, carrots. So as you can see, if I move this over here, you can see that... Uh, that brings me over halfway on my watermelons and I'm approaching halfway on my pumpkins and uh, you know carrots are going to be probably the harder one to to get down there berries I haven't even worried about because berries are everywhere so we'll be able to complete the berries uh, fairly easy uh, anyway so I've been one of the things I have found here is that there seems to be, well, there's quite a bit of meat, uh, goats and the rabbits. I usually kind of try to stick to the wolves, but let's see. We can take him out. And so between the goats and the wolves and the deer, uh, you can get an awful lot of meat fairly quickly up here. 
And one of the nice things about uh, this area up here, it just seems to be that there's a lot more uh, fruits and vegetables up here. So if you kind of look all around the lake, like right here, here's some more watermelon. And I've been picking watermelon up and around here. Uh, and so you can kind of see that this is a good area for picking. So what I like to do in this mission, and I think I've mentioned it, is that uh, I come down here and I work, I get them both, uh, get both of the drop pods down. And of course I've gone back and forth. But I usually spend most of my time down here getting the hunting one done and then collecting vegetables as I'm hunting. Uh, so uh, we can see a... Let's see if we can get him from... Oh, right about there we got him. He's over there by the trees. Should be right in here. Where is he? There he is, I think. Yeah. Long shots, they sometimes get to be a bit hard to find. Uh, but I try to mark it uh, when I see him go down. And let's grab all these pumpkins while we're here. As you can see, so there's a lot of, again, fruits and vegetables up around this area. So that really kind of helps. So once I get the hunting shipment ready to go, I will take all of this stuff out and head down to the uh, other drop ship and get it deposited. Carrots. I'm always looking for carrots. And so, yeah. Oh, there's one. Carrots are kind of are the harder ones to see. Uh, the watermelons stand out pretty good, and the, obviously the pumpkins stand out pretty good. And of course, you know the berries, they're everywhere. So, just wanted to kind of give you an update. It's getting close to dark. So, what I try to do is do a little bit of hunting and stuff right around here. And another watermelon. And like I said, picking up uh, fruits and stuff as... Oh, here's a wolf. We'll take him out. Ah. Uh, didn't time it very well. It's okay, though. And it looks like I need to eat as well. Let's see here. All right. Oh, let's do this. Uh, looks like I need to eat a little bit of everything. There we go. That's got me back up to speed. Let's get this stuff delivered. Oop, a carrot. Another carrot. Again, those they're kind of hard to see kind of I've picked quite a few so I'm start I'm getting to know what they look like and I always find that uh, once you find one patch of something look around because there's usually something else there and this is still cooking away let's uh, move that and then we can get let's drop that in there we will grab this and then we'll run up and get everything deposited uh, See if we can get him. There we go. Oh, you're lucky. Ah, missed him. All right, let's get this guy. And. Let's get our meat and stuff deposited, our fruits. Keep them preserved. More watermelon, more carrots, and more pumpkins. 
And let's go ahead and drop these in there. There we go. And I'll, we'll get the fur, drop that in there. And again, I'm going to end up with more leather and bone than I know what to do with. Let's uh, drop that. I know that those spo that's probably spoilage coming from from that stuff. I've got so much stringy meat and game meat in this collection. All right, well, that was just a bit of an update. It's getting close to bedtime here uh, on Icarus, and so I will uh, catch back up with you all when I have another update. All right, just a little bit of an update. Uh, I have made some progress here. I'm about to get another item completed, and that's the fur. So I think I needed six more. We'll throw that in there. These seven can go in there. Now I'm going to have to make a run down to and deliver these because I'm not going to have enough room to put all of my meat in here. So we might as well get this stuff down there. And I'm going to grab it all right now. And I don't know. Well, I'll be picking stuff up along the way. Uh, I don't. I have enough for the watermelon, so we can we'll be able to get that done. And the other thing I got to do is grab grab my cook stove, and so we can deactivate that. I'm going to throw that into there. Let's consume that. Uh, we might as well grab that. Consume one of those. We can uh, destroy that, grab the coal, and we have just enough space. So we are going to make a dash down there to the other to the other uh, end uh, and deliver these. We almost have the hunting supply done. We're just down to the meat, and we need another 125 on the cooked meat. You know, it takes a bit. Uh, and then, as we get down to the other one, uh, I don't know if I'll, uh, we'll grab carrots. We always grab carrots. Because those will be the hardest to find. And we'll grab pumpkins. It's, that's down to what, the only thing that I'm really kind of picking now. So, when I get a little bit closer, I've got to stop off at the capsule. Uh, I will uh, catch back up with you all. Well, I've made it to my uh, little uh, stone shack where I originally set up. I've been hearing a bear, so I thought I would uh, catch back up with you all. See if we see if I can make it through here without dying. That's a wolf there, trying to avoid any confrontation. At least until I get down by the lake. I could hear the bear. I don't know where he's at. Okay, that's uh, baby deer and mom. Get up over to the edge of the ridge up here.
Okay, I can see the lake down there. As long as I can get down to the lake. And I should be able to sprint down there to it right now. Okay. I hear the buffalo, bison. I don't know where he's at. See, this is the dangerous end. It seems kind of backwards, right? See if I can get over here to the capsule and get everything loaded. Okay. Look around. I don't see anything dangerous. Let's go ahead and start loading this stuff up. Uh, throw that there, that there. Start grabbing the stuff that's about to expire. Uh, put that there, that there. Get the watermelon in here. Okay, we can start kinda, there we go. I probably lost a couple of watermelons along the way. And let's uh, get that there, that there, that there. That there. I thought I had some meat down here too, so we'll grab that. Let's uh, destroy that. Consume that. We won't put any berries in there yet. Let's uh, consume some of that. We'll grab this meat out of here. All right. Let's see what we ended up with here. All right, so we're three short on the watermelon. And we need another, uh, looks like uh, 67 on the pumpkins. And another, what, uh, 75? 77 on the carrots. That's not bad. And there's a pig. I need to work my way back to... Well, let's go ahead and take the pig out. Grab as much meat as we can. I really, all I need is none of that to speak of. I know the bacon gives you a pretty good buff, but so does the other stuff. That's the buffalo. All right, let me, was there anything that I can pick right here? It's a wolf. It would be kind of nice to get that watermelon done, but... Again, it can be kind of slim pickings out here. There's pumpkins. Let's go ahead and hit this pumpkin patch. Thought there was some watermelon over in this direction, but oh, I see some. Yeah, I needed three, I think. One, two, three. Let's grab one more. All right. 
get back over to the capsule and let's get the watermelon finished. And then I need to start heading my way back. Oh, there was a bunch of watermelon right there. I knew there was some watermelon close. All right. So let's just throw all of them in there. There we go. All right. That's the watermelons done. And I got those pumpkins I grabbed. Let's put those in there. Okay. All right. Well, when I have another update for you all, I'll uh, catch back up with you. Okay. Well, I think I am getting close to wrapping this uh, mission up. Uh, I need eight more cooked meat. I got nine right here. So here's what we're going to do. Deactivate this. Grab this. And grab this. There's nothing in there that I need to bring. I've gotten everything out of there. So let's go up here and split this. Uh, split this. Split this. Ah, uh, shoot. Destroy that. Put this up there in my spot. There we go. There's eight. So let's go up here and grab what we've collected. We're going to ignore that wolf. Oh. Uh, although he's not going to let me ignore it. Fine. So here's what we're going to do. I can use the meat. Uh, and I'm going to put it down here so it can be cooking. And let's activate this. Let's throw this in here. Now we can go up here and collect our carrots and pumpkins and berries and put uh, put the meat in all right so pumpkins carrots berries and then put our meat in for my money, that's all of them. Get away from there so I don't get cooked. And there we go. That one's done. And I should have just about everything I need for the next one. So we're going to scurry along. Let me see. So we've got the full day to get down to the other. Uh, there we go. Yep, you're done. We can deactivate that. Let's grab the meat and put it right there. Uh, close. And let's see how we are doing. We've got meat, so we just need to eat a few berries. And let's start heading out. Of course. Oh, and it's a flash storm. Go figure. I Those I don't mess with. Good lord. It just... I've gotten my pants on fire before out in the flash storm. So we need to... Uh... Kick back and relax a little bit, unfortunately. So, which means I'll probably lose a carrot or two on the way back. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know where there's quite a few carrots right around the lake up there. 
and uh, so I think it would be we should be able to finish getting the rest of our carrots but as you can see well, let's see if we can step out of here and kind of see where all the light there there's some lightning So, I don't mess around with lightning. Just, just in even in real life, I'm actually a bit of afraid of lightning. So I tend to uh, seek shelter uh, whenever it uh, happens. And in the uh, game here, if I'm caught out, I'll dig myself into a rock on a flash storm. Thunderstorms are not quite as bad. Uh, but I will kind of try to protect myself from the, the lightning portions of the thunderstorm. So, I guess with that, I will uh, catch back up with you once I get a little closer down there and I'm ready to uh, put this rest of this stuff into the, the pod down there and watch it take off. So, I'll be uh, back with you in just a little bit. I am back. I am getting close, real close to bear country. So I thought I would uh, get back on here and take it slow and easy. You can see where I'm at on the map. Once I get close to the lake, I will feel a lot more comfortable. Slow and easy. Listening. Making sure everything is what it is. Might need just a few more carrots. Speak of the devil. Let's grab all of these. Perfect. I think, and then I know where there's a bunch more, so I'm pretty sure that that probably gives us what we need. Sure, dear, dear, okay, we are down here by the lake, so I can handle any bears here with the lake, it's, it's my technique anyway, I can't do that matador, olay type uh, stuff, uh, so I kind of depend on the lake. And I saw some more carrots back there just in case there's pumpkins if we need it. So this side of the lake, I think, has what we need. Let's get across over here. And we're almost home free. All right. Let's, okay, let's put these in there. That's 100. And we needed 250. There we go. All right, pumpkins. Uh, let's get that. Okay. How much more do we need? That's 163. 
183. And that's all the pumpkins. All right, just the berries. There's 200. And there's 300. That's it. You got everything. That wasn't so hard, was it? You got a little time left, so head back to the dropship when you're ready. Okay, well, I am ready to head back to the dropship. So, I will uh, catch back up with you all. Unless I run into some difficulties along the way, I'll uh, catch back up with you at the dropship. All right, I think I have actually just about back to the dropship. We didn't run into any difficult. There it is. Uh, run into any difficulties. Uh, let me do a quick inventory here. Okay, that's it. You did it. Icarus is a wild place, but it ain't got nothing on you. Great. The ACS are paranoid, but when you tick their boxes, good things happen. I'd say you're on the right track. Well, that's good. Thanks, Saul. All right, let's uh, put everything where they belong. And we can count these. Should be 11 items. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right there. So there's six there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. We are ready to head back. All right. Well, that's the agricultural supply stockpile. I guys probably don't need to, to fly back with me. I will show you a couple of things, though, here before we take off. I did manage to level to 31. Oh, great. Ah. Uh, four. Great. That would have just been just super. Die at the damn dropship. Well, how about that? Well, and I don't have... Let me... Oh, actually. Let me grab this knife. We might as well at least get the XP out of this. Alright. And there we go. 787. Okay, now, where was I at? We had counted everything. Oh, I wanted to show you... Uh, so, I managed to level up, like, about two or three levels on this uh, mission. Uh, I've got uh, blueprints. I've got 18. I've kind of learned that I don't use my blueprints now until I need them. If there's something that, that I need that I want to build or that I need to build, then I have the blueprints in hand. Uh, so something like uh, flint arrows or something like that, I just wait. I am going to need uh, I, I know at some point I'm going to need this cooking station, so let's go ahead and click that. Uh, the wood compactor I don't need. Uh, we've got... Let's uh, do that. Uh, I've got iron. I'm not up to that level yet. Uh, tier 3. Oh, seriously? Oh, really? Really? Are you kidding me? Oh. Look out. Look out. Great. And we got another one down here. Wow. 
getting more oh come on I keep taking my knife out holy cow you know what let's uh, consume some of this stuff Wow. Are you kidding me? All of a sudden? All right. Well, let's uh let's get the XP out of this. Why not? Let's close that. Let's get you close that. There was another one around here someplace. Wow. Well, you guys get the jest. I've got uh, talent points that I haven't used yet. I've got uh, solo points and I've got blueprints. And the idea behind holding on to them is so that when I get into a mission and there's something that I actually need, then I have the blueprints in hand. So there's no real good reason to have to just use your blueprints right away save them if you can save them save them anyway that will do it for this mission uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed it it was uh, I tried to abbreviate it as much as possible I ended up uh, let's see 10 14 hours uh, game time so uh, that uh, will kind of give you an idea how long it takes and I I piddled around a lot of this stuff so uh, that's it and my co-pilot here Butsy is saying it's time to get going so let me get back up to the station and let's put this back in down here just a habit all right let's get going return to the station yep and there we go. All right. I will see you guys all in the next video. Well, hold on here. Continue. I meant to finish this up down there on the planet. So, uh, here we are. We're back at the station. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, it was abbreviated. Uh, it was uh, kind of one of those uh, good for leveling up and uh, if you like that video please hit the thumbs up it helps the video out and please subscribe it helps the channel out and with that Commander Kingfish is out of here and I will see you all in the next video thanks for watching everyone